So we're back on stream for our third and final section of this competition. If it goes to a fourth section, we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it takes another four hours to play six frames. Definitely struggling, Joe, with a bit of form here. So the thing that's interesting for me is that there's three players of the seven who haven't played a frame yet. Yeah. Andy Blythe, Andrew Sini and Mark Reynolds, who was the one I picked before the competition started. Um, so what do you reckon the next, next match will be Pete Mack versus Pomerola? Yeah. That's a good part. Oh, needs a, needs a nudge, ball. needs a nudge. Not off it. Oh, oh dear. Oh, he hits that full in the face and he's, he's got two rollings, you know. No, he's, he's, yeah. he's got the pots in the middle of the pocket, really. Good slide off the bottom side of it and hide behind the black. Well, mm. black side. And that's actually what he's looking at, believe it or not. It depends how confident you are feeling. Yeah, I don't think Jess is feeling too confident at the moment. Certainly tough from that. I think I'll go for it at this stage. Just as much chance of putting as you have messing yeah. up with snooker. Go for the cut on the other one, I suppose. It's tin, but yeah, it's mm. bottle. Again, we're at the stage of any shot will do. Uh, by his own admission, an awful shot. That's what he shouted as he played it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'd go for the cut right, I wasn't going for the double or anything. Yeah, he tried to cut in the bottom left. Mm. I know it was hard, no, but was uh, the, there were easier shots than that, I think. Yeah. He's played that very nicely. That's a great shot. Great shot for me. Picking up the mic. Are on the red? Red button, please, Lee. If you can set the balls up as well, mate, thank you. Next two up. Probably not Mark Reynolds. He's Mark Reynolds! Mark Reynolds, Lee Baker. So one less out of the zero club. Mark's first frame in six and a half hours, I believe. Yeah. And there's still two left. There's still two in the club. There's only one of the one of the two gone. So John Avila decided we're not doing this competition again without a shot clock. Okay. <laughs> Whether it be a minute or 30 seconds or 45 seconds, 40 maybe. 
to deal with extensions though. Just do, just do 30 seconds. Just do 30 seconds. Mm. He's in off the break. Could that be Reynolds' only shot? I would love it if Lee dishes up from there. And he's waited six and a half hours for a frame. Breaks, goes in off. <laughs> Doesn't get another shot. Would be hilarious. Come on, Lee. Five games left. So here we go. Can the dish off of Reynolds is in off? They're not easy, but he's got to be going yellows. Five frames left. Yeah. Play, play the plant. Play the red run, run. Don't need to do that. It's all right. And we could be in bed by sunrise, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't offer, was it? I'm just being make that clear. Can we play that nice? <laughs> Nicely done. Got out of there nicely. If that yellow goes past the Let's have a little look. green spot, red. Yeah, and the two yellows in the bottom right do plant. It is tight, but they do plant. You've got to have a nice okay. angle from the right for your cue ball, because the red's going to be in the way if you're dead straight on them. Uh, I don't know where he's going next. Oh dear. So, can you screw down the middle of the table? It wants to be sort of somewhere, what, inch below the blue spot? Could just go off the left angle cushion. Yeah. Ang I think he's got enough angle just to. Oh, not mm. like that. Might have to play the plant he, now, I think. He uh, actually could play the one over the pocket if he wants to. Actually, the one over the pocket is, is, is the shot for me. One over the pocket. Yeah, just to top be fair, the other, one, the other one does go if you play that one. Yeah, just one over the pocket. I think he's fine. That's what he's going for, over the pocket. He's going to stun back and get the red out of the way, is he, as well? No, he's going to get through them beautifully. Stunning shot. Tell you what, does it go? I'm mm, sure choice, it did. Choice of either way, really. Yeah, it does go. And black goes, I assume, as well? Yep, black goes to the middle. Oops, it does. Yeah, you can just middle of the cube all this out. Jump, 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 jump. Yeah, the black definitely flies in. And he has, so Reynolds is up on shot. <laughs> it's a story. It's a story. Wow. Wow. Well played, Lee. Done well. So Andrew Andrew Seeley wins the award for the last... It's our final zero club. Final zero. Andy Blythe, who was asleep about ten minutes ago in his chair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pete Mack. Four frames set him up. Wiping the balls set up. No one's setting the balls up. Setting the balls up. I forgot to remind them that time to set the uh, balls up. Never mind. We're done close. To be fair, you did do it last time. Well, at least that was a quick one anyway. Indeed. That, well, yeah. I'm pleased with that. <laughs> I don't think Mark Reynolds is quite so chuffed of waiting He's so long for a frame <laughs> and having one shot. Still, you know, I, I blame his poor break to go straight on off. It wasn't like he got a kick off. He went straight no, in off. straight in off, yeah. So he must learn to break better. My tip's gone. My tip's gone. <laughs> He won it one time, so he can't play. He has won it before, yeah. We're going to have a new winner tonight, though. None of these guys have won it before. Yeah, no, exactly. Not here, anyway. Which one's Andrew Seen? Is Andrew the one with the glasses there and the beard? Is that Andrew? 
Which one's Andrew? No, that isn't. Um, one next to him, the tall one? No, An Andrew, yeah, he sat next to him in the black t shirt. Okay. So he's here waiting, ready for his frame. This is Elliot, Elliot's dad, is that right? Yeah, this is Elliot's dad. I, I made a faux pas earlier when I said it's his granddad. <laughs> <laughs> I said, is that your granddad? Dad, uh, dad. <laughs> Don't. My bad. I'm sure Andy won't be offended. We just know for a start. <laughs> he would <laughs> if, if he listens back. If he watches this back, yeah. yeah. Apologies. And if he doesn't watch it back, I'll make sure I'll tell him next time I see okay. him. Oh, well, he's even got a little nudge there as well. That's good. A little nudge is good. Four frames left. We're getting this eye at the end, the end of the tunnel. We can see the light. Playing the tight thing cut here. Does does, uh, does Andy play much? Obviously yeah, in local leagues again. Obviously Elliot plays. And yeah. He plays too much. <laughs> <laughs> well, does he play because Elliot plays all the time, so he has to play with him? Yeah, they, they practice a lot together, to be fair. But, um, plays in our cash league as well, as well as Thursday night, Sunday night. Okay, so he can play then. It's a good job. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 yeah. Fair play. Mm. Tell you what, if he can get, a toughie. get around the back of it and uh, come off a cushion, he might be able to free his... Uh, Not at that pace. He's potted it as well. Straight in. That's um, probably the worst result he could have hoped for. Yeah, I think he was trying to cover the back there, wasn't he? Yeah. He's in danger of just having I hard balls left here. I think that shot's just lost in the frame. Personally. Unless Pete does something silly. I'm gutted we've lost two of our zeros in, in consecutive frames there. I really wanted a, a you story. Wanted to be like the last four, that like one left to play yeah. some games and the others are yeah. one zero. But people would say you can get to the final without playing a single frame. I kind of wanted it to happen. I mean, I realised still good. Andrew's small, still there. A small chance of that happening. So after this frame, we're going to have four players left. Mm -hmm. So I suppose that means it's a 50-50 chance yeah, yeah. of Andrew coming out or not. Yeah. And the next frame, 75% chance of coming out. 66%, sorry. Terrible two, maths. Two three, yeah. yeah, terrible maths. the director. Which is that bottom right corner that's causing peak problems, the other four are easy. Yeah, well if you can play it at pace, I mean, it's a very aggressive shot to smash it. I think you want to play it at the bottom one though, don't you? Mm. Rather than the side one. I mean, Pete's in no rush. Well, relatively speaking. Andrew Sini has only played one game. He hasn't played any games. Sorry, he hasn't played any games, sorry. <laughs> so it's Pete Max second and Andy Blythe first. Well, Pom and Lee have both played three. And the most is Hazel, isn't it, on four? Oh, and Jez. Hazel and Jez on four. Hazel and Jez Both out. Four. I can't play anymore, but... Mm. I was really surprised with how Jez played tonight, to be honest. I must be honest. 
Just not a. Uh, no, not the races tonight. And on the zone. Nice yeah. idea, but it hasn't worked. That's no good. No. So Pete McConaughey isn't paying attention at all. No, he's more worried about what, how many drinks he's got in. Guy's got his drink balanced on the edge of the match table. Yeah. It must be for disaster. Stood by one of our staff members, which is yeah. a good sign. Yeah. He's feeling really confident. He takes the bottom right ball now. To be honest, yeah, yeah. Where, where all the yellows are, I, I think, confident or not, you, you, he knows the shots, Pete. As long as you don't put the white in the middle pocket, you're fine. As long as you don't put the white in, you're fine. Yeah, I mean, what's Andy going to do? No. Nothing. I'd be tempted just to slam them bottom two as hard as I can. I think he might play into them and hope that one Let's of them cover. goes in front of the red, yeah. I think with the angle they're at, they're going to hit below it and just stick, them, stick the red out still. But, but that's why I just hit it, hit it that yeah. hard and see what happens. Hello Scott, yes still going. Four frames left. Now what's coming? Now it's gonna be can if you hit that top one full in the face, does the yellow get anywhere near going over the pocket? Do you know what I tell you what? I reckon it goes. Do you reckon? That? If you play that right, mm. right pace. Is that hard or soft? Soft I think, which is a problem because mm. you're not gonna be able to get the other one out there. Yeah, too hard and the the, the, pocket? the, the red Ooh. double kissed it out. It's softer mm. and I think the yellow sneaks in behind it. Okay. But the double kiss off the red has pushed it back out again. Is it too hard? Yeah. Watching the replay. Sensible shot from Pete. I mean, you can just... Uh, Percy, I'd be playing the one top left first, but that's just me. Now you put your pressure on yourself. He's not happy with that. Yeah, I'd play top left there. You play top left. Top left, then middle, yeah. and then bottom right for the middle. I know you're going up and down the table, but where the black is, it doesn't really matter. Now you've got a, a big shot. Race is on. There's one little flag in the corner. Edge. No, he's alright. He's actually left it quite nice. What's he going to do, just drop this in? What, the middle pocket? Yeah. Cool. Actually, it's one of those again that's um, mm. deceiving. That, that's a better angle. Yeah. See how tight that is. That is tight, isn't it? Hey, 
Hazel's back. Where's Hazel? She's gone in. Hazel's in the house. <laughs> Hi Hazel. Uh, yeah, the software is bespoke, homemade. If you want to be pedantic. Nice pot. Nice pot. And too much of the white ball. Virtually sh dead straight. Yep. So you can just stun this. Screw back if you want an easier bat, but the stun will do. You just gotta get in, haven't you? Just gotta get it in. He's played that very nicely. Great shot. Pete's on the red. On the right. Uh, on the left, sorry. Say someone got to the final without playing a frame. Oh. Gutted. So close. So these two are teammates, played together oh, on the same team, yeah, on Thursdays and Sundays. Oh. And one of them is guaranteed to be in the last three. Wow. I'm hoping it's a nice open frame. <laughs> Lee's been playing well tonight. Andrew's got the uh, disadvantage of being cold and playing on different tables tonight. And I think where you can save time is unless the person is playing again. Yeah. As, as the playing as the person not breaking, receiver. yeah, they could set them up properly, set them and up then properly, they can have yeah. a quick look if they're worried. Yeah, because yeah. that the person walks around the table, puts the black in, moves the rack. I mean, that's a good thirty seconds plus. Yes. We'll do it. <laughs> Go and play the plant first. <laughs> the <frame. laughs> well, he's to be fair to Andrew. I'll I'll give him a walk around the table twice. Yeah, he deserves. He, he, so. How long are we up now? Um, Let's have a look. We're at 2 a.m. We started at half seven, I think. Half seven ish, so. Six, six and a half? Yeah, six and a half hours. Yeah, he's just. Isn't it? Well, it'll be easier for him to find his game on stream. <laughs> he just needs to go <laughs> 20 minutes into the last <laughs> one. <laughs> this is not like Mark, where he, he potted the. Uh, what on the break in <laughs> one shot? Oh, that's hilarious. Six hours. <laughs> that's good. Looking confident. Is this Andrew's but the half better half? Should we say to our right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Watching on. Ask her if she wants him to win or lose. Do you want him to win or lose? Do you want him to win or lose? <laughs> she wants him to lose because she wants to go to bed. To sleep? Ah, uh, right. There's no nice idea. I like that shot. Because Yellow goes to the bottom left. Not a good run, to be fair. She's got a four beside her name. That's the biggest number I think I can yeah, see. Yeah, well done, Hazel. You played very well tonight. Which means and Jez as well. Hazel must have won three out of four. That means. Yeah. <laughs> the 
he's missed. <laughs> he's put a ball up by the hole, which Andrew is in control of. Is he going to mm. try and go for it, or is he going to take uh, the pocket and taking the bag? Yeah. Don't blame him. A tap from Lee. And you're getting his VFM value for money. Fair play to him. Oh, I thought it was going in. Oh, I was wrong. Can tap this one over the hole as well? Just about. Yeah. So Andrew got down to the final, what did he get down to, the final four? Yep. And the final four, so that, I think that's a record. I think Nick, Nick was probably final five. Yeah, yeah. To get it down to the, what should we say, quarterfinals, the, the last four? Yep, effectively, isn't it? The trouble with Andrew's plan here is he's got no balls to pot the one top left. I'm not sure he has a plan. I think he's probably waiting to see what he does. I don't think I'll tell no. you what he can now. Just tap this, just really, really gently, so yeah, it goes. Yeah. Just. Uh, oh, he's not happy. I'd be loving that shot. Tiny little tap. Put your ball, pot a ball, leaves the cue ball on top cushion. Yeah. Once you don't leave a ball width, you're fine. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's playing. It's hard not to over hit these. Played it nicely. That's a great shot. That's a much better shot than it looked. But I, uh, I think Lee could probably get the red in behind the yellow. Or even the yellow in behind the red. Uh, or if the red goes, yeah. yeah, it does go. It's one of those, <laughs> where we're, we're at the far end of the table. Yeah. So it's uh, difficult for us to see the angles, but yeah, that easily takes. Do you take the ball or you try and pot it off the yellow and. Uh... Yeah, he's played nicely. First ever re rack? <laughs> I hope not. They've both got one, ball, one pocket covered. Slam it in. <laughs> Give it a foul. Say, so go on then. Put all yours. He's playing it. It's two. Oh, that looks a bit two-y. Two. 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 Oh. Yeah, two shots. Yeah. He's got the foul? Yeah, it's two, yeah. Better check. Two shots. Definitely foul. It's foul. Yeah. Might speed things up a little bit. No. <laughs> yeah, play, play the play the plant. Don't mind that. To be fair, the balls at the top left are quite nice for him to yeah. stick it hard and yeah. push the. Oh dear, I don't want to really miss that one though. Glad you had a good night, Hazel. He played well, Hazel. Almost broken dished against Pom. Just thinned one at the end there. A couple of chances. This is a messy frame. Yeah. Hard for Andrew though, he's not played either. No. Not played on he, this table. Has, so Lee, Probably Lee, his first ever frame on stream as well, I think. Yeah. So Lee has played obviously three frames. This is his fourth frame. Yeah. So uh, he's warmed up with the two. Andrew, it's a unknown arena, unknown situation. He's cold. Not played in six and a half hours.
willing that in from the commentary box. <laughs> yeah, I was giving it the nail the elbow. <laughs> it wobbled as well, I can't believe it didn't yeah. You say these two are teammates? Yeah. A bit, bit of bra bragging rights then. Yeah, I think so. Where's that? Come on, Andrew, it's time to go for some sort of miracle shot. To be honest, while there's a couple of reds safe on the side cushion, I think uh, you you can't win with the yellow where it is. Actually, it's not a bad shot to put yellow over, over the hole, top left. Oh, don't know what that to, is. Top, top right, sorry. Just giving Lee a chance to uh, yeah, bump, bump out your hard balls. He could have put it over the top right, actually, to uh, give himself a chance to split out the other one. Do you know what? I think left. I'd, have just, I'd have played that shot that a lot of pool players hate. Hit my yellow first and fouled. Controversial. It's in the rules. You can do it. True. True. You don't mean the fake skill shot. You mean sort of hit the yellow half ball and pop yeah. the red over the pocket. Yeah, absolutely. It's a foul. It's not a loss of frame. You hit your ball first. That's true. Even if you deliberately done it. Mm. Controversy here in the commentary box. <laughs> <laughs> Might, might be the 17 gin and tonics. You're going for this, you're going for the plan here, obviously. Oh, that's okay. Looks like Lee's going. Might as well take it now, aren't he? Yeah. He's gonna, he's made his call, he's going for his finish. That isn't a great shot then. He's a very good one now. The red actually does now go top left, of course. But yep. You got to get on it first. Don't think I'm gonna slide past it on this. He's gonna hit into it. Yeah. Uh, to place the bottom corner. Pump it in. Yeah, it's a shot. What a shot that is. The next one to what a shot that is. It. That is. He's got to top this through quite a lot, actually, because the white's going to go up the table as well. Yeah. If he, he dollies it, he'll snooker himself. He's got really got to get the he white. He could go the other ball first, but. That's true. I think he's got too much angle. Yeah, I don't like it, no. I think you just top this through. You leave the white somewhere on the right hand side cushion. Yeah. You're fine. You don't need it short as anything. He wants to play the bottom one. He's thinking in his head, can I hold? Can I hold? I'm not sure what they... No, you can't. I don't think you can. Unless you stir it. Didn't like it. Didn't like it. Why would you do that? Is he okay? Can you get through? No. I'm going to regret that one. Is that a towel? Really bad news. I think the kebab van will be gone by the time we finished. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even get a good bad before I go home. Oh. We're thinking we can just see the real thin edge. Yeah. You know, one of the spectators on the side. That's, is that Rob? No. That's Rob, yeah. yeah. Rob Cox, play today, played well. I thought he was a world beater after the first frame, and the second frame, he, yeah. Back down to earth in my eyes. But if you can hit it, then uh, I don't think you've got much choice but to roll into it. I've got to run a birthday party tomorrow for 18 eight year olds. Better than eight 18 year olds. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Always going for a little cheeky swerve. It's 
that time and again, yeah, and he sure do. <laughs> these three balls yeah. roll off one top cushion top right yeah now me personally I'm not actually quite bigger angle than that I'm not actually putting this I'm just bumping it over the hole yeah, see I would have probably tried to pull it but I've had a much bigger angle so I want I want the cue ball back on the bolt line okay so then yeah. I've just got a natural angle anyway do nothing with the cue ball little pocket He's going bottom pocket, fair play. Just got to drop it in. Don't run past the red. Yeah, just drop it in. Either stun it or roll it, your choice. Don't go behind the red though. Oh, nice lovely, lovely yeah, come out. So Andrew is on the, which one's he? He's on the blue. Two frames left. Pete McConaughey in the final against the winner of Pomerola and Andrew Sini. Two of Paul's big four still left in. That's Pom and Pete. There from Pom, developed his balls. Pom just put a good shot, Paul. And it's nice for Walker, I've, 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 I've cursed him. That was off Pom's break, was it? This yeah, far? I think so. to the frame. <laughs> it's at half two. After my first guess of one o'clock. Well, I think my first guess was half one, didn't it? So what time did we start? We started at half seven, didn't we? Yeah. Give or take. Yeah. Uh, 
So we say half seven to half two. How many hours is that? Mm, six, seven. seven. Seven hours. Four, thirty. Thirty seven frames. Seven frames. could not embarrass you but I'm still going to and he's now getting his calculator out to I'm work nice, out fine. 7 times 60 divided by it's 420 I'm not oh, he hasn't even worked out 7 times 60 to be fair he knew it my 37 <laughs> times table is not the best <laughs> my 37 though to be fair so 11 minutes and a, and a half roughly oh, oh, hang on but that, we're not even done yet are we no that's based on us finishing in 10 minutes ok so let's go 410 divided by 35 yep yeah, nearly 12 minutes of frame. But that also includes setting up the balls. Yeah. Putting players to the table. I can imagine you put him in lagging as well. Ghosty having a mm -hmm. dance. <laughs> it's not good. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's uh, people are paying to play a competition, and because it's one frame pull, they're being a little bit careful. End of the day, it's a club competition as well. It's not superstars playing. No, we're so not great players. Speaking so for myself personally, that uh, does slow things down a little bit. Um, also, I wasn't here on time, so it's my bad as well. <laughs> it's got for his fro screen frozen earlier. <laughs> no, it's just players having a good old yeah, think. Um, see, but this this shot clock idea though is is a good one. Yeah, I like shot clock. I think it's thirty seconds ago and. Uh, yeah, I mean, John's one extension. Uh, extension. I mean, I'd argue 30 seconds even with an extension is enough time to play a shot. It's just things like that, isn't it? Where it's really close to the ball and you've got mm. to think. That it's yeah. You have one of them a go. I think that's reasonable. It makes it a bit more complicated for the person doing the timing. Yeah. Oh dear, yeah, I didn't want that reading. It's unlucky. So he just needs what? to get that red out. What happened then? Sorry, I'm a bit So confused. he was yellows. Yeah. So he's flicked his yellow really, really thin oh, and then hit into the red and doubled the red into the... Did you double it in or did you go straight in? I can't remember. But yeah, doubled it in. He yeah. potted anyway. So Andrew just developed his hard ball. Okay. Black's the just biggest problem for him now. Yeah. Although this isn't a give me, it could rattle. No, he's potted it nicely. Go, he's going to be out there, isn't he? It's okay. struggle to get hard on it unless he screws back behind it just skims behind it and mm, yeah, it's tough Ooh. that was always hard he's got a double though double and then a tough black yep Pom's balls aren't lovely he's got two sort of plans hasn't he I mean you could just drop this in the double and play a long one oh he's no. it far too far too wide Tom's going to snooker him now for the bottom yellow. Mm. Very true, Scott, very true. Doing the old time then. I'm going to think if I can do like a, just like a, um, almost like a stopwatch, 30 second timer where you can sit there and just actually press one button and it, it starts and stops it. To be fair, we've got quite a few up here still who got knocked out hours yeah. ago. We've stayed to watch the conclusion of the event, yeah. which is nice. Obviously, it's a little bit lighter than it was at 9pm, <laughs> but can't say I blame them. Come on, pump, play the shot. Either we can play left hand side of the bottom ball or left hand side of the second ball. You're going to snooker him. Yeah. Yeah, you've got there, but Perfect. if Andrew can go once across the table. Yeah, I think he can. Be a good pot. And he's certainly not going to have an easy black if he does pot it. <sighs> it's close. 
And it's tied up on the other yellow as well. I feel like I need a shave. <laughs> Good start from Palmer. I think he might just clear the bottom of the table here and then maybe get to the top and snooker him again off the... Uh, Top yellow. That's what I would be doing anyway. Mm. And that snooker will develop the top two balls. It means off the foul, hopefully, which I'm about to get, I can then move the black into a potable position. He's left himself a nice angle to get at the table if he wants to. Yep. I don't want to get too close to the side cushion. Um, so he's just yeah, it's fine. Roll to the top one here, isn't he? Yep. Mm, you can have a think about it first. Let me see. Just checking how close to the cushion it was. I mean, the blank's still not going to be ideal, you know. It's I think he wants to develop it ideally. Oh, he rolled out. Didn't want his yellow really where it is. No. He just hit, he's overhit it by. Is this twice across? Is this? A fair bit. No, he's not in, in once across, way. he's never going to hit it that way. So Pom's got a decision to make now. Does he free the black? Mm -hmm. Or does he pop one of his hard two yellows? Well, yeah, they are both reasonably... They're both missable, put it that way. Yeah, I mean... They're not ridiculously hard, but they're both... No. When it's 400 quid riding on it and placing the final, mm -hmm. a bit more pressure, yeah. now you can't make a mistake. Who knows? The line first, mm. so that pretty much guarantees oh. his yellows. I wonder if he can. He, he might play to move the black as well now. Off this ball now. Play the plant. Yeah, he could do. Play the plant and screw back. Does not want to right hand side. Does not want to underscrew it and going off there, of course. No. He's played and it because of that. He's probably he's overscrewed it. Yeah. I think I'm leaving myself a double now. The black one playing this ball. Yeah. Keep the potting simple, move the cue ball as least as you can, trust yeah. yourself on a double. Yep. Yeah. And to be honest, you can actually leave yourself in such a position where if you leave the white where the black is, you won't actually leave Andrew a shot. Yeah, that um, that red is tough to pot unless you're right behind it and close to it. Yep. Yeah. And if you leave the white where the black is, I don't think yeah. you can even double no, it. No, it won't double from there. <laughs> I think you need really to want to cue over the red. He said, well, this through a little bit, I think, to... Uh, I mean, he's, he's looking to leave... He'd like to leave yeah. it straight, really. That would be the ideal angle. Because then yeah. he can foot the cue ball off and he's get on the top cushion. A little bit of awkward queuing, I think. I mean... Yeah, he didn't need to do that, really. <laughs> so, two balls for a place in the final. Can he make them? Oh, he's, he's going to play, play it down the line. Yeah, or over the middle. He's going to leave a go at the double, though, if he misses it. Well, this is what I'm saying. You might be able to leave it in such a position where the double's not on. Well, he's got to screw it back if he's going to do that. True. If the ball's passed or level with the red, it'll, yeah. it'll be double easy. Unless he doubles it. No, he's going down the bottom. He's playing the top right, so... I'll tell you what. Yeah, way. What shot. a pot. Great pots. Well, we don't really need the buttons pressing, but we're we'll getting to press them anyway. It uh, decides the break, of course. Decides the break, importantly. No, 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 no. Red, 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 red. To decide the break on the final. Pomerola with the break against Pete McConaughey in the final. Good luck, boys. <laughs> Just about time for the final. Just to reiterate, I called Pete McConaughey to win from about the second frame. You did fair play to you. 
So I reckon he's going to lose now in the final. <laughs> Otherwise, he might make it look good. <laughs> Think of me uh, who has to pack up afterwards. Here we go. One frame for £400. That was the break. He wants a good one. Doesn't want to go in off. Is it dry? It's dry. It's dry break. This didn't go in off though. I'd be surprised if Pete finishes these for £400 on one frame. Yellow's gone safe. Uh, have you got an opening red? No. Come on, people at home. We've got quite a lot of people watching. Who, who are you betting for? Who do you reckon's going to win? Let's have your bets now before we get too far in the frame. No. Now they're all going to go pom 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 pom. Yeah. So we've got 36 names in red on the right hand side, all being eliminated. And the two left highlighted in blue, Pete McConaughey and Pomerola. One of them is walking away with £400. Kerry says Pete, Scott says Pom. It's oh. one each then. I'm on Pete, as I was from the start. To be fair, there's nothing in between these two. They're both very good players. Yeah. I think the bookies would have them even. <laughs> Scott wants a pound, but he wants you to pay me. <laughs> a great shot. It's a pot. Oh, it's a nookie there. What a pot. A little, tiny little, <laughs> little flick nudge. on that little yellow bit, there. Bit more of a flick, yeah. Although he has, done, he has been a bit lucky to play, play it off the red on the top cushion, but I'm sure he didn't mean to do that. will show this any better. Yeah, I don't think that mm. furthest yellow goes. Sky cam. So you can get it close. Yeah. It doesn't go. If you play it with lots of lots of side to throw it. Yeah. Right hand Might side. Good no. If he plays one of those two, I think we've got to watch it from that left angle. Left hand side. If you play it with lots of left hand side, can you throw it in? You can get close, you know. He's going to play the other one. I don't, I don't get this. Is he going to leave it on the bottom cushion? No. Oh. Tell you what. He knows his shot. Oh. It's a bit of a billiard shot. I liked it. It's put, certainly put oh. yellows in command. It's a good shot. It's a good shot. It's just a great shot. So, Pete can stun the red top right. Actually, you can stun it off the yellow. How about that for a shot? Yeah, I like that. Off the yellow. You can cover the bag, cover the bag as well. We've got a cushion, isn't it a cushion? It's two shots. It's a foul. Yeah, Pete calls the two. And now, Pom can play the plant. He's going to pick the ball up though, isn't he? Play it from the left-hand side so we can play the yep. other top yellow to top left as his second shot. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Anyway, by the middle pocket. Yeah, he can play the middle, if you fancy that. I mean, sorry, leave the white anyway by the middle pocket. After oh, the sorry, okay, yeah, yeah. You can flip this away. You can flip it right away, is it? Yeah. More control over that, I guess, but... I don't think you need to do it. Make sure you get a cushion. I'm going to try to get that red away from the yellow, I guess. Yes, yeah, that's a clever shot. shot. Yeah. You can just tap it in now and play the yellow to middle. 
Was it Pajella from the first? If he's, if he's doing that, I'd, I'd, put, I'd put the cue between the, the hand between the two reds, but that's just me. Yeah, he's yep. cued it nicely. So he's just got to get out of those reds now. Yeah. Somewhere near the middle of the them, table. Or do you I think I'm screwing between the two reds. Yeah. If you do, it could be a stunning it. Could be a good chance. To be fair, even if you screw back and hit the red that's the th sort of first on the left of the three, you're gonna have a shot. Oh, 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 doesn't want to roll. Doesn't don't like that roll. shot. Don't like that shot at all. I don't understand that shot. Mm. So he... he might... Mm. Is Pete just back to favourite now after that one? Pom can get between the two reds in the middle of the table, but... He needs a, he needs a tracer so, a swerve to uh, make the plant. Trace. Mm. Yeah. And it's a control swerve as well, isn't it? Yeah. You got. To I'm get it swerving at the right point. I'm playing the the cut along the top cushion. Yeah, I think he's got the outside of it. I mean, you do have to. Are you going back in off into the top left? I think you might be. It's close going to too it. Wide, yeah. You don't have to actually get the. Uh, no, you don't need to make the pot. Pot direct. You, you can go off the bottom cushion. The trouble is, if you leave that, if you put, do the play that shot and you leave the cue ball on the top of the table, yeah, but he's got I so many safeties. True, but I think I think if, if you uh, oh, he's going over the top and try and pop the corner ball. No, he's he missed wide. it. Pop up the table. It wasn't a total though. Even on that. Yeah. Two shots for Pete puts him favourite now. I think I'm back doubling the lowest red with a bit of left hand side to swing the cue ball round. To me that's the hardest ball on the table. Which one, sorry? The bottom, the furthest down. The furthest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean you the could, could just play as a cut. Bump it out, isn't no, it? this one's yeah. I think you gotta fancy yourself to get the he's gonna take the, the bottom pocket. Yeah, also block block yellows off, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a good idea. Again, depends how confident you are, doesn't it? I mean, he wants to take the bag. He doesn't want the red, red to go away. Mm. You'll sure. take that because it, it, yeah, it covers the it covers the yellow, doesn't it? And you've you've got the chance to play the red middle left and bump the other one down the cushion. Yeah, we're still live. We're still here. <laughs> Not going anywhere. But well, I am after this frame. <laughs> Jake Mitchell is my Facebook playing games was live at Gone Two Thirty. It is. But you're still watching. Yeah, we are. Who's <laughs> who's worse, the person who's streaming or the person who's watching the stream? Oh, yeah. Just now, has Pom covered that red? Yes, I believe he has. Yes, he has. This is by a bit of a distance as well. I can't believe the final's gone to a decider. A bit of last man standing. Do you reckon it might be uh, a humour for you? Black ball. Black ball shooter. Madness. So this uh, this yellow does pot to the bottom right. <laughs> Was it race two? Race to one. It feels like it's a race to three hundred. <laughs> yeah, the yellow just goes. Not sure he's going to get the cue ball around the table for the next one. He's not even tried. Drop it in. 
maybe there was a bit of a fingerprint mark, a chalk mark or something, no, I think it might have rolled off a bit. I'm not sure I thought it was. Maybe the last set could have just been the nap. So Pom hot favourite again now with the two shots. Yeah, I think if he gets the plant it's as good as done I think. We'll play it off the red I think just to. Yeah. Played that lovely. Played it lovely. Where's the black going? Sand pocket? For me, or no, I'm for me, I'm playing middle left. Middle left. I'm literally dropping it in. You can, you can hold with it. that with that red there. Yeah. I don't even need to be straight on it. That red is huge pocket for the middle. Yeah, you can hold that easy. I think it might be a bit too a bit too much angle, mate, but I don't know. I'm not in the same pocket to be honest. Oh, I look at the red. Did he play That's that? Game over. Yeah, he did. Fair play to. Uh, fair play to Pom. Yeah, well done, Pom. Just about to win this competition off the red. Yeah, yep. um, there it is. The well. Pom is the winner. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Your Uncle Paul and Super Club in Abingdon. Thank you to Andy well, for Pom. the stream. Fantastic no stream as always. I'm going to go and give some money away. Fair play to you. Goodbye, all. Pom. Press your button, Pom. Press your button. Red. See what happens. It's going to go like fireworks there. Oh. Uh, oh. 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 Do it. Oh, it's Paul's press the button. Only once. Hey. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. It's been a long one. We'll hopefully see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.